Hello, uh, I'll show you another example uh, for the data extraction with uh, Q127B uh, uh, VLLM. Uh, in my previous video, I was uh, also using the same uh, visual LLM to extract uh, table data. In this example, I'll use slightly more complex uh, document uh, uh, as a complete invoice document, and uh, I'll show you uh, multiple examples how it works to extract the data. But I'm really excited about uh, Q127B uh, VLLM. Uh, it works uh, very well with, uh, say, average complexity documents, and uh, another version of the same model, uh, 72B, uh, works uh, uh, excellent. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it can process even complex documents. At the moment, 72B is available only through API, but based on the README uh, that is available on Q12 model, for the Q12 model, they say that uh, 72 billion parameter model will be open source too as well quite soon, so looking forward for that. At the moment, working with uh, 7B model, which is also great. So this is the sample uh, document that I'll be using uh, for the today test. It contains invoice number, date, uh, seller client information, invoice items table, and summary. Right, so now uh, I can go to Collab. And because I'll be running this example through the call because seven, I'm using 7B uh, out of the box model, which is not quantized and uh, it needs uh, quite a lot of memory, uh, virtual visual memory uh, around uh, in total, we'll see it goes up to 24 gigabytes of RAM to process uh, this kind of document. All right, so we're now acquiring resource. I'm using uh, Colab Pro and uh, the runtime environment is uh, 800 GPU. Okay, it's connected, we got GPU. Now, while we install transformers into the session, while it installs, I can upload, uh, upload the file. This one, invoice one, G, uh, JPG, okay. Let's see. The file should be uploaded. Fine, so we can close this window. So in a moment, okay, it's already installed transformers. Then we install uh, helper utilities uh, from QN, uh, and this utilities uh, library provides the uh, helper class, which uh, makes it more simple to uh, pass uh, image to the model and read the results. Okay, then we, in, from the Hugging Face Transformers, we import uh, Q12 uh, class, which means that uh, we can use out-of-the-box Hugging Face pipeline to it, interact with the model, uh, which is great because it's uh, generic and the same, uh, the same pipeline can be used with other models. Then we load uh, here uh, Q12 uh, Visual LM 7, 7 billion parameters model, instruct, and we're also loading the processor. So now we see we get uh, zero uh, GPU RAM usage, and as soon as model loads, uh, it loads in five chunks. Here, then it will occupy around 17 gigabytes, uh, 16 gigabytes, if you correctly remember. And then, as soon as we execute the inference, then it will add uh, more gigabytes, and uh, total goes around. Uh, 24 gigabytes of RAM. The good thing is, if, if within the same session, um, if I'm executing uh, uh, with other documents or executing uh, inference with the same document, then it's not using additional RAM. It's, it stays with, uh, stays within the uh, limit. Okay, so now the model was loaded and uh, it's around instantly around 14 GPU. Uh, 14 uh, gigabytes of RAM, uh, okay, 16 actually gigabytes of RAM, as I, as I, as I said earlier, uh, occupied uh, from GPU. Okay, that's fine. And now uh, here we execute actual inference. We point to the uh, file uh, that I uploaded a moment ago, invoice one. And it's very important to uh, downscale the resolution of the image because if I would, in this case, uh, the resolution of this image uh, for the invoice uh, is something like uh, 
uh, probably 3000 something and uh, 2000 something and uh, if you pass this kind of large uh, image with large resolution then uh, you'll get even on this 800 GPU out of memory instantly because it's just trying to use too much RAM to process uh, higher dimension image so uh, I'm passing two parameters resize height and resize width and by cutting the original uh, resolution of this image by 50% and uh, then it works fine within this uh, GPU uh, uh, RAM that is available for me. Okay, then uh, in this section I'm passing text and I'm saying that I would like to retrieve invoice items table data and uh, return response in JSON format. So I'm instructing model to not to return plain text but return JSON model and uh, I'm getting this way JSON out of the box. And the prompt is structured in a way that, uh, like a SQL query, basically. So I'm just saying what uh, pr I'm providing word retrieve, and then I'm providing the uh, things that I, I'm looking for to extract. And in the next example, I'll show you that how you can uh, use, for example, uh, invoice underscore number, date of issue, and so on. So instead of uh, uh, instead of uh, 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 writing long uh, actual uh, name of the field you would like to extract you could write a uh, short form of the, of the field and then it looks like the uh, real SQL query you're executing against database in this case you're executing the query against the document okay so let's run uh, this first example and in this case we should uh, get back the content of this table and the good thing that Q12 uh, Visual LM automatically identifies the table inside the document and gets the all gets data for all the columns out of the box okay the executed took 19 seconds on 800 uh, on 800 gpu fine and now if we print out the output uh, we get actual output so we get if you look for the last row it's home essentials and cross row 1429 uh, and this is exactly the, the correct data we get. So it's working fine as expected. And now if you go to the inference and we try to execute the second query or prompt, uh, retrieve description and gross for data from invoice items table. So now instead of uh, fetching entire table data, I'm instructing to return description and gross of uh, common values from the table only and in JSON format. In this case it's 8 seconds because probably it's simpler query, there was less data to fetch from the document so it, it executed uh, faster, 8 seconds. Now if we print it out we see exactly the response as expected uh, and it uh, matches the request. We get description and gross forth. So the second one, one, two, three, five, five, uh, correct. And this is the description. It ends with hanging glass. That's correct. Okay, now uh, the last prompt. Comment out this one and uncomment the, the third one. Uh, we say that we want to receive invoice number, date of issue, let's run it. Uh, seller info, client info, seller tax ID, client tax ID, IBAN, invoice items table. So in this case, I'm using the short form uh, for the thing I would like to fetch from the document, and I just say invoice underscore items underscore table. And this makes uh, uh, data table easier because I can use more uh, simplified or more standard uh, field names that I would like to fetch because across the documents, um, uh, for example, date of issue may have slightly different naming and uh, uh, if I'm able to use the short form of the field label, let's say, then uh, there are more chances that the same uh, data will be extracted correctly from different types of documents with the different label names. Okay, and also, uh, those are fetch invoice summary table, and then I say that like everything to be in a JSON format. Okay, so now it's 26 seconds, and if let's print it out, okay, this is the output we get. So we get invoice number, date of issue, then we get grouped seller information with IBAN under seller information, 
and this is uh, correct because uh, IBAN is uh, uh, is grouped with the seller, same as tax ID. Then we get client information, and client information zip code is correct. It ends with four eight. Tax ID uh, eight four seven seven. This is correct. And then below we get invoice items table, all the rows, and if you scroll down we get invoice uh, summary table, VAT, net worth, and gross worth. So this is what we get, uh, VAT 1928, net worth 192.81, uh, and uh, 21209 for the gross worth, so this is correct as well. Okay, so let's uh, stop the uh, runtime to release GPU and uh, as you saw in this example uh, Q12 7 billion perimeter model does great job out of the box uh, I haven't seen yet any other LLM besides open source LLM besides ChatGPT API for example which also works good but uh, in terms of the open source LLMs I haven't seen uh, such great results as uh, we get with uh, Q12 uh, 7B LLM uh, so thanks for watching and uh, let's wait for uh, 72 billion parameter LLM when it will be open source and uh, when we will be able to test it out and with the complex documents with complex layouts. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.